of my favorite things to do as an artist is to take favorite elements from beloved things and then mash them together to see what happens. So with this new paint that I've created, Layer Cake Paint, I took the fun of watercolour palettes, of mixing and matching pans, of being able to move them around and having that beautiful water solubility. I've taken the opacity of gouache and that beautiful matte velvet finish and the creaminess and bright gorgeous colour that is delivered from acrylic. So in this video, I, I'm trying to show you what these will feel like in your hands. You'll use them differently to me, but I just want to get you as close to them as I can. In this particular art journal, I've got all sorts of different papers, lots of different mediums happening, but the background for this page is all created with my layer cake paints. And I just allow them to dry in between layers so that you get this gorgeous opaque layering. You can use them with fine or broad brushes. In fact, I've included brushes in each set, but of course you can use any of your favorite brushes with them. On screen, I've taken some of the white layer cake, which is called Pavlova, and I'm mixing it with some of my mermaid marker, but you can mix them with all sorts of different art supplies. You're going to have so much fun experimenting with them and because of the opacity and the beautiful pigment load they look amazing over dark paper over colored papers try them on craft papers over colored gessos over your acrylics especially matte acrylics what i absolutely adore about them is how they layer over each other so i'm specifically on this page just showing you how they layer even over the black layer cake even yellow which can sometimes have a little bit of trouble sitting on a dark color like that and of course you don't just have to use the colors in their pure form they mix beautifully together you can use the inside of the lid as a mixing tray I'm using one of my little mini mixer palettes here and just mixing up some different pinks blues purples I love clear palettes because you can hold them above your artwork and you can audition the color that you're about to put down the first two palettes that I've created are rainbow cake which is the very bright rainbow colors and ice cream slice which have got lots of portrait tones neutral tones but there's also some fancy colors in there for quite lively portraits and when you mix those different neutrals you can get lots of lovely skin tones in this example I'm going to show you how you can work wet in wet so I'm using I've got a nice wet paintbrush picking up my color and I'm letting the colors blend with water on my page so that I get more of a watercolor effect and although these are a water soluble art supply it's best not to get too much water in the pans they'll be fine as you're using them but if you let all of that water sit in them it will get right through the hole of the pan and turn the paint very very soft and swell the paint up it's just not good for the longevity of the paint equally don't leave your paint brushes in water the water will swell the wooden handles and the lacquered surface of the handle will come off the paint will split and then you'll be sad it's also bad for the bristles because there's glue that keeps the brush together and you know it can bend the actual bristles out of shape so be kind to your brushes all your paint brushes be kind to your all your paint now because of the reflection on the water as the layer cakes are drying it's a little bit hard to see the details of what i'm creating at the moment but Look to where I started and you can see how quickly these paints dry. So I rarely use, or actually I've never used a heat gun on them at this stage because they dry so quickly. Um, and I, I'm working fairly quickly as well because it's such an intuitive ugh, bodily paint. Um, I find that I work very, very freely. The, 
Layer cake just, it loosens me up. I feel, I just want to dig into all of the colors. I work quickly and with freedom and creative confidence. So the angle of the camera isn't the same as with my eyes because um, when I'm working on this, I can see it a little bit better and I've got studio lights. So what I'm just trying to say, it's not going to be all shiny looking like this for you at home. And I mean, you can even see where I was working before. It's you starting to be able to see it as it dries. Now, while I'm waiting for things to dry, I'm impatient. You might be as well. I force myself to just work on a different part of the artwork to let things dry naturally. So what I've started playing with as well are paint pens. Paint pens I think are one of the best friends of layer cake and I've also added a little bit of fountain pen from one of my fountain pens with incredible ink in it being very careful for that nib not to go through the paint it's not good for pens uh, for fountain pens to be going through any form of paint really and just forcing myself to work on other things while I let that paint dry so that I can get more of that layering effect rather than think colors bleeding into each other as they're still wet. I very often love to start with that wet and wet process, which is gorgeous with watercolor. So you could even start with watercolor and then add your details with your layer cakes. And they have a beautiful painterly effect. In this next little part of the video, I filmed this at my mum's house and we were just sitting there chatting she's got her art journal open and she's planning a new garden and you know, she was painting all of her beautiful greens and leaves and just while we're chatting I'm playing with my lay cakes and of course I'm drawing faces which is my absolute favorite thing to draw and paint on the right hand side of the page I've already got something that I've started with layer cakes and color sticks and then on this side, I'm working on top of layer cake that I've already applied and that has already dried. And I'm the video is quite funny because <laughs> the camera set up, it was like flying off to the right, which I didn't notice. The lighting's not that great. I was recovering from spinal surgery and I was very, very happy to be able to sit and paint, to be quite honest with you. But the reason I'm telling you about this is because there is just something about these paints that is so conducive. This is what I'm talking about, the camera slipping off to the side. Um, there's just something so conducive to relaxed art making. And I'm not sure if I'm explaining that well enough. The way that I can explain is by telling you where I created these. And with, I mean, of course, some thought because I've, I've got to work it out. But this is what I'm talking about, creative freedom. The colors are so beautiful. I just thought sh they need to have lilac hair. They need to have giant buns. They need to have giant hair it has to be lilac and it needs to be these shapes and I just I have no idea who these people are that come out of my paintbrushes who is about to arrive on the page all I know is I love them all I know is that they needed great big giant orange sweaters we in Australia we would say a jumper big knitted jumpers and I'm mixing oranges and purples this is not a color combination that I use very often they're complementary or well, they're not really complementary colors but they they're just very bright together but there's just it's something about these paints that just makes me make really I feel cool choices for me whether or not anyone else likes the artwork <laughs> doesn't really matter it's for me it's about process so of course you have lilac hair you've got a big orange sweater uh, you're floating above the word friendship and maybe I was thinking of special girlfriends friends that I have in my life who are very supportive of me that's the beautiful thing about art journaling uh, is that these ideas swim onto the pages they connect our mind with our body and the paper and we have these moments 
where we create. And I just love creating art supplies that allow that. And I'm just showing you the ladybug dotters because, oh, they just add, they just add instant little background. And I did want to show you how, look, how like they just sit on top of the layer cake like that and just help bring a page together. And that's my story. That is the layer cakes. There's so many gorgeous ways to use them. You're going to use them in a different way to how I use them. They're so versatile, so beautiful, so much fun and exclusive to janedavenport.com.